eaten by himself again. What a loser. He tried to sit with me the other day. He's so weird. Why does he still come here? He should know we don't want him here. Go home. Nobody wants you here. There you stand before the crowd after being beat. You never deny yourself, yet humbly accept the punishment given to you by those who had witnessed your miracles. It's easy to look at this scene now and think, how could they have accused you and condemned you to death? All you did was love every person you met, that they are not alone in their condemnation of you. Jesus, forgive me for the ways in which I condemn and pierce others with my words and actions. Help me to love like you and learn from your example. He asked to be my group for presentations. That is so awkward. What did you do? What could I do? I had to say no. You don't want to be seen with him. That'd be like social suicide. You did what was best for you. I think so. By now you have endured a sleepless night, but you're held by your friends in a beating that is too horrible to fully imagine. You've been whipped, stripped, and spit on by countless faces, some of whom last week treated you as royalty as you entered the city. And now they hand you a cross to carry. The weight of it is far more than any number of pounds we can figure. For in carrying the cross, we carry the weight of our sins. Jesus, help me not to forget the load that you carried for me. Give me the strength and the courage to let go of those things that separate me from you. Look where you're going, loser. I'm trying to walk here. Get up. Get up and out of here, loser. For sure, this isn't my business. As you walk through the narrow streets, every movement, every drop, burns and reopens your wounds. The pain along with the weight of the drugs becomes too much and you fall. In boxing, when a fighter falls and is too beaten to continue, the fight is stopped by the referee. Yet there is no one there to stop the battle that you fight for us. Even though you know what still lies ahead, you do not stop and somehow find the strength to continue. Jesus, help me to remember your courage and perseverance when you fell. Give me the courage to get back up when I fall. Help me to remember that it is worth it to live as you live. Amid all the shouts and jeers from the crowd that move like a wave in your mind, as you struggle to remain conscious, one voice stands out. At first it is so faint that you wonder if it is real, but then as your eyes meet and you see her face, you are not surprised that she is there for you. She has always been there for you. Her yes to the Father has been a light in the darkness, and now, here in your darkest hour, she is there. Help me to remember that I am never alone in my struggles. Help me to see my parents as you saw yours. Help me know their love for me, and when things are hard between us, help me to remember the light of your mother in my life. I was told to be a partner for class today. She just went up to him like it was nothing. It wasn't her choice to work with him. Still. There's no way I'd work with him. She seems to be handling it pretty well. Maybe she's a little weird too. The soldiers who had beaten you all day had what appears to be a moment of compassion. Yet instead, their selfish motives override their opportunity for charity. They only want to follow their orders to get you up to the place where you will be crucified. How beaten you look, they decide to grab a Cyrene out of the crowd to help you carry the cross. He follows behind you, walking in your steps, helping, 
helping you move forward. You press on knowing that the worst is yet to come. Jesus, open my ears to hear the ways that you call me to serve. Help me follow Simon's example of helping others. Help me to know what it means to be a true and faithful servant. There he is. I just want to keep that thing away from He's such a fuss. He'd probably fall over just trying to get it. That's no fun. I guess we got nothing this time. By now, the thorns cut so deeply into your head that even seeing where you should step next is almost impossible. Up to this point, all who approach you, other than your mother, either shout at you or spit in your face. As Veronica approaches, she walks differently than the others. As she reaches out her hand and wipes, her, and wipes your face with her cloth, suddenly her face of compassion becomes clear. No words are necessary, both your eyes say it all, for in that moment your dignity as a man is restored. Jesus, help me to see your presence in others. Give me the courage to follow Veronica's example of treating others with love, even when no one else does. Look, he's on the ground again. Why does he never say that to himself? It's just sad now. He doesn't like it. Why doesn't he just do something about it? Come on, get up, come on! Like he doesn't even say anything. Come on, let's get out of here. You're such a loser. The soldiers are enraged at you for falling this time. They can't understand how Simon's help is not enough. In their anger, they hit you again and again before they remember that you have to be alive to be crucified. The beating stops, but the shouts and taunts become louder and harsher. At this moment, you can stop this. You are the Messiah and have the power to reveal yourself to everyone there. But you know that it would not fulfill all that is written about you. You know that you must be faithful to all of the Father's promises to his people. Remembering your love and your faithfulness, you get up. And now with your wounds full of dirt and each step embedding it deeper, you keep going. Jesus, help me to believe in your faithfulness and love for me. Give me the grace to follow through on my words to others. Help me be a person of integrity. Hey, can we sit here? They saw what happened this morning. You need to say something to someone. You can't keep going on like this. You have to help yourself. Don't tell them we talk to you, okay? Their wailing sounds like a funeral. They cry and weep as if you are already dead. While air still passes through your lungs and your heart still beats, to them you are dead. They know you are on your way to be crucified, and because of the beating you have endured, you already look like you should be not breathing at all. Yet in this moment, consumed by death, you speak words of life and say, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Jesus, help me to listen to your words of life. Show me the ways I can put you first. Oh, sorry, loser. I forgot how weak you are. Why are you talking though? It isn't even worth it. Just stay down there. No one cares what happens to you. Just stay down there. Again, you fall this time from sheer exhaustion. Only a will presses you forward while your body refuses. How difficult it must be to be you, fully God and fully man. God knows that this has to be finished and that it is not yet complete. Man feels the excruciating pain and every bone in your body wants to stop right here and move no further. Somehow, both join together and you muster the strength to get up. You vow to not fall again because now you can see the place they are going to lead you. You know the end is close, and so you press on. Jesus, help me to follow your ways. Help me remember your victory over my sin. 
Give me the grace to recognize when I sin and the desire to sin no more. Look at it. It was ridiculous. It looks like you shot me in a random laundry basket. Nothing fits. And those clothes you wear with weird designs. It makes him look so freaky. He looks like a freak. I saw him in gym class. He just moves like a freak in those bad clothes. It's like he wants to be a target. Hey, buddy, did your grandma pick those clothes out for you? Even though I thought she had better taste than that. <laughs> <laughs> in some ways, to get to this point is a relief because you know this is almost over. In other ways, it is terrifying because you know the worst pain possible for man to endure is still waiting for you. By now, your bloodied cuts have dried into your garments. Because of this, they act as a layer of skin for you since so little of your own remains. As the soldiers strip you bare, it is not the nakedness that is painful, but rather the vicious tearing of your skin. The cuts that had closed now reopen, and once again, a river of blood runs all over your body. You are stripped of your dignity as a man, for even animals are given a swifter, less painful death. Jesus, help me look past the outside of others. Help me not to judge them by how they look or what they wear. Help me to find my self-worth and identity in you. Sitting by yourself again? Nobody wants to be infected with what he has. The illusion can be contagious. I can't believe you try to add me as a friend on Facebook. You know how oh. creepy that is? You're such a weirdo. I don't know why they go out of their way to pick on us. You really should just stick up for himself. I mean, is it taking someone else to do something? I don't have time for this. I've got better things to do during lunch time. It's almost class. Let's get going. Do you ever shower? You stink so badly. It's the smell of a loser, man. It actually makes me gag. Lying down on wood is not foreign to you. The first place you were laid when you came into this world was a wooden manger. There you were laid in love. And now it is out of love that you lay here on this wooden cross. The soldiers pull your right arm out beside you and then the horrific pain fl flows through your entire body. The nail pierces not only your hand, but also your entire body. The soldier pounds it in, only stopping to wipe, wipe your blood off his own face. Again, the nail is driven into your other hand and the pain jolts your entire body. Pain shoots up your leg as they nail your feet. Jesus, I'm sorry for nailing you to the cross with my own sin. Help me to seek your forgiveness and mercy for the times that I sin. just kill yourself. It would be better for everyone. Above your head is the inscription, King of the Jews, as you use every last ounce of life in you to lift your body so you can speak. You do not look the part, yet every word out of your mouth is one of love. Truly from another kingdom, the faces of all humanity must flash before your eyes as one by one. You recount whom you are doing this for, and finally you say, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. It is finished. You breathe your last, and it looks as though it is the end. Jesus, help me never forget your love for me. Help me to know that you died for me. Fill me with comfort in knowing that I never suffer anything you don't understand. you in this world are also the last. Your mother was told a sword would pierce her heart the day she presented you as an infant to the father. 
Now, as she holds your body that is mangled beyond recognition, she sees not only the man she now holds, but also the child she held, and her heart is pierced. Your comfort to her will come, but in this moment, she has only the father to be with her in her sorrow and pain. All hope seems gone. Jesus, help me to trust in you. Help me to place all of my hope in you and give me the peace in knowing that you are the Lord over all things. I haven't seen him around lately. Have you heard anything? I heard they told him to kill himself. Do you think he'd go through with it though? It doesn't matter, they still crossed the line. He hasn't been to school in a long time. I feel so bad. What if he actually, you know? He should have said something. He could have said something. Would you say something if you were him? You took this way too far. We were just joking, he knows that. We were just teasing him. You call that teasing? Why would you say those things to him? He was strange, it made everyone uncomfortable. We've all said things to him. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't come back. We all owe him an apology. We all let it happen. I feel horrible. Do you think he will come back? I don't know. I hope he comes back. I hope he comes back. I hope he comes back. You are laid to rest by Joseph of Arimathea, Mary Magdalene, Mary your mother, and a few other women. As your body is anointed, Mary Magdalene remembers your eyes penetrating her heart. Tears stream down her face along with the others, thereas they too remember your love. They wrap your body in clean linens and lay it in a new tomb. The stone is rolled over the entrance, and now it surely is the end. Up to this point, death is final. While those you have lived with, laughed with, and cried with are in their heightened sorrow believing all is over, you are conquering sin and death. Jesus, help me always remember that death is not the end. Give me the strength to say the words, I love you, to those people in my life that I do love. Help me to love every person, not just in words, but also with my actions. Jesus, I love you, I need you, and I trust you.